The digital revolution has transformed the economics of postal services around the world. While the internet has reduced the demand for letter mail because emails are a cheaper and quicker means of communication, online shopping has taken a growing share of the retail market and has boosted the demand for parcel mail. How is the, but how is the Nigerian Postal Service growing in the digital economy? Well, joining us now to speak on this following the commemoration of World Post Day is Postmaster General and CEO of Night Post, Dr. Adebayo Adewusi. Dr. Adewusi, good morning. Thank you for joining us here. You have talked. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Well, we all thank you very much yeah. for joining us. We've all had a look at the press release from my post. And the top line of that, it talks about being wholly aware and conscious of the new digital age we're in. And by definition, traditional posts does fall, to the, fall by the wayside when we look at uh, electronic ways of uh, sending messages or sending posts. How are you restructuring yourselves to still stay alive, not just survive, but indeed stay alive and thrive in this postmodern age? Thank you very much. Um, first of all, let me say that uh, uh, yesterday was the World Post Day, October 9, which commemorates the establishment of the Universal Postal Union uh, 127 years ago. And so uh, the theme of, the, of this year's um, uh, event is Innovate for Recovery. I'm sure that we are all familiar with the crisis of the pandemic, which affected the global uh, postal sector uh, across the board. And so uh, the theme of this year's um, World Post Day is to really underscore the importance of quick recovery um, and the need to quickly recover after the pandemic wrecked very serious havoc to the global postal community. Uh, having said that, uh, innovation, of course, uh, for recovery uh, means that we need to be more creative and find ways to adjust uh, to the changing dynamic of the environment which has been brought uh, upon uh, the postal uh, sector as a result of not only the internet and the disruptive nature of technology, but also because of the pandemic. Uh, and so there is no way uh, the postal sector can survive going into the future uh, without, of course, adopting the, the use of technology to drive our businesses. And I will say that in the Nigerian Postal Service, uh, we have continuously uh, re-engineered our services uh, to ensure that we can stay afloat of competition. Don't forget that we're also competing with the private sector players in various areas. Uh, even though we are the public designated postal operator, and a member of the 192 uh, strong membership of the Universal Postal Union, uh, we have the responsibility to drive innovation. And as a result of that, we have continuously adopted technology in various areas of our operation. And I will go uh, into that in details uh, as this uh, discussion continues. Well, that's actually my next question. I would like you to go in details because you've said that NIPOS has, uh, you know, great roles uh, to play in the realization of Nigeria's digital economy. Now, what steps have been put in place to actualize right. this goal or to get the agency to operate at the same wavelength with other internationally recognized service and delivery companies? Thank you very much. Uh, there, there is no doubt about it that we are operating a, a particularly uh, unique environment uh, in Nigeria. And because of the important role uh, as a critical infrastructure, uh, we have the duty to continuously uh, ensure that we provide uh, very high quality service to our customers. And in doing that, let me give you a few examples of some of those areas where we have adopted uh, technology to drive our businesses. Uh, we have recently launched an address verification solution 
uh, as a means of ensuring that uh, addresses are verified, are verified uh, within a, a few hours. And what that means is that no matter where you are in Nigeria, uh, if there is need to know, once you are able to say, this is where I am, this is my address, uh, NIPOS using the address verification solution can easily verify where you are on a real-time basis, and this will be uploaded into a server. And this will be useful even in combating very serious security challenges that we are facing today. Uh, because most of these people uh, who are criminally minded, they live in you know, one place or the other. And so it is very easy using uh, this recently packaged uh, address uh, verification solution to continue to monitor. And this will be useful uh, for security agencies. Uh, but apart from that, businesses like banks are also going to find this very useful uh, in various areas. And, uh, and so we believe that this is just one of the many solutions. For example, let me give you another one. We have recently uh, 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 concluded a plan to launch a financial services platform. What that does is that because of our reach across Nigeria, we are located in every nooks and cranny in all the 774 uh, local government areas of Nigeria. In most of these places, you don't have internet, you don't have electricity, you know, but we still operate there. And so our platform, uh, the financial services platform, is meant to be an alternative banking platform. In other words, we are turning our post offices into a one-stop shop where people can come, open an account, it's linked to all the banks, and of course you can do cash in, cash out, you can do money transfer, you can do a lot of services within the post, uh, 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 with the post office. And in addition to this, the post office going forward is already registered to do registration for NIN, that is National Identity uh, uh, Number. And so you can walk into a post office, do your registration, uh, and then you can, and you will get uh, uh, your, your registration uh, certified linked to the NIMC platform. Similarly, we are working with Nigerian Immigration Services, uh, we are working with uh, the, federal, uh, the Federal Road uh, Safety Corps in such a manner that you can walk into a post office, apply for your driver's license, walk into a post office, apply for uh, your international passport. These are things that the postal sectors are doing the world over. All of this we are bringing into the fore uh, in the Nigerian Postal Service. And so uh, uh, we, we, we continue to reinvent our services in order to give uh, direction uh, to, to the digital economy where we currently operate under the leadership of our able minister, uh, Professor Issa, Ibrahim Ali, uh, Pat, uh, Issa Ali Ibrahim Pantami, who has given a, a very serious and dynamic leadership uh, to ensuring that uh, uh, we, we get uh, uh, the Nigerian Postal Service uh, on track uh, in advancing the course of quality service and satisfying uh, our numerous customers' needs. Uh, all right, uh, Dr. Adewusi, I, I like your tone. I like the enthusiasm and the manner in which you have you know, um, presented the things that you are doing, and which is in tandem uh, with your message for World Post Day yesterday, uh, saying that you are conscious of yeah. your big role in the growth of digital economy. I mean, that's good. Uh, but moving away from that, on yeah. a day that you celebrated the World Post Day, you gave Nigerians a curious yeah. gift. And I'd like you to confirm if, it's, if indeed it is true or not. Uh, the price of stamp changed from 50 Naira to 250. I mean, I understand the point of inflation, but that's yeah. like 150, 200%, you know, mm -hmm. hike in the price at a time that a lot of Nigerians are reluctant to use uh, postal services. Mm -hmm. is, is this the result of what happened in August uh, when you launched uh, the revenue stamp? Is, is that the point of yesterday, celebrating the World Post Day? Well, no, let, let me put this in proper context. Uh, the 50 Naira minimum postage stamp that is um, currently operational uh, was, uh, has been in existence for 16 years. 
Well, in 16 years, we have not changed our minimum postage rate. And you see, under the uh, Universal Postal Union imposed universal service obligation, we are obliged to send a letter, a parcel, from Lagos to Maiduguri for 50 Naira. So, which means that we have been subsidizing the deliveries of our postal uh, our services for the last 16 years. I'm, 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 I'm sure that you know that in 16 years, a lot has changed. Uh, not talking about inflation alone, you're talking about uh, virtually uh, the environment where we operate and the need to increase our quality of service. And so all of these were put in context. And of course, uh, this has gone through a lot of processes and uh, which culminated in the Gazette issued by the uh, Minister of Justice uh, to address. Uh, uh, and don't forget uh, that while we are talking of minimum uh, postal rate at 250 Naira, you cannot send any document, anything, less than 1,000, 1,500 within Lagos alone. And so even at 250 Naira, it is still very, very modest and below the market uh, uh, competition as it is. And so what we are trying to do is to grow gradually uh, in such a way that we can compete effectively with uh, the private sector operators. I can tell you that the 250 Naira is even not sufficient, but at least the government has been very, very uh, considerate and looking at all the indicators uh, in arriving at this, which of course uh, the, the Universal Postal Union that is regulating uh, the postal sector globally has also uh, accepted uh, as minimum uh, uh, for Nigeria at this time. And I will tell you that this uh, 250 Naira uh, in Africa is still the lowest uh, looking at the, what is charged in all the other clients in Ghana here, in Cote d'Ivoire, they charge about uh, uh, twice as much as this. So I believe that uh, this will only help us to advance uh, effective delivery of our services uh, so that we can continue to serve the underserved areas. Uh, because for us to move from Lagos to Kaduna, from uh, Kaduna to uh, Maduguri, from any part of Nigeria uh, at 250 Naira, it is still modest. I'm sure you will agree with me. I mean, price is one thing. And I know for the, for the chunk of this discussion, we've talked about the development and all of the good uh, things that you've done to progress NIPOS. But do you think that you've ever missed like certain gaps yeah. of infrastructure? Like if we look at, if we take take ourselves out of Lagos for a, for a second and look at other states. The way homes are arranged, streets aren't always accurate, house numbers aren't always accurate, there's no such thing as a postal code. So I can imagine the actual basic infrastructure of somebody posting a letter and it getting to the front door of someone isn't as easy as it should be. Do you, I mean, do you see that as a personal failure, that over all of these years, basic post doesn't find its way from A to B as seamlessly as it does in other climbs. Well, thank, thank you very much. Uh, that is actually consistent with the ongoing reform of the postal uh, sector by the federal government under the leader, leadership of uh, President Muhammad Buhari. Uh, the post code is an exclusive preserve of the postal administration the world over. And uh, in the Nigerian context, we have a National Addressing Council uh, under the leadership of the Vice President who is coordinating all of this. But the postcode itself is already going through uh, a new digital era. And uh, at the moment, we've done a lot of work. And I can assure you that with what we've done now, uh, by the first quarter of next year, we will have covered Lagos, uh, Abuja and a few other states under the initial uh, pilot scheme. And within a year, we will have concluded uh, digitalizing uh, addresses through the postcode across Nigeria. Uh, that has been in the forefront uh, of, uh, the, the, uh, of the issues and programs that we have, uh, 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 we have started since I assumed office. So uh, moving mails from one point to another will become easier, no doubt. 
Uh, but even under the current uh, structure, we have still managed, despite uh, the, this, uh, uh, this uh, effective lack of infrastructure, to still deliver meals. I agree it's not been easy, but we are getting uh, through that age and uh, through that stage, and I'm sure that very soon we'll be back in the global arena where uh, you can just mention a postcode and you'll get to uh, your next destination. It will also enhance our own operations, apart from uh, the people outside uh, using this uh, to, to drive their own businesses. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Adebayo Adewusi. We're all looking forward to that time. Thank you very much indeed.